Jeremy Herrera from Bacolod City, Philippines. I work at home as a virtual assistant. I normally feed stray dogs and cats in my area. Until one day, I can't find a stray dog that I've been feeding outside my house. So I went to City Dog Pound and there I saw 99 dogs scheduled to be put down. I was so shocked that these four babies will die so I decided to adopt 13 dogs that day. But I cannot sleep thinking the remaining dogs in the pound. I posted in Facebook and uh, many of animal lovers came to adopt some but a uh, few days before the deadline there are still 62 dogs left and I cannot simply let them die that way. So I went back to the pound to pay the adoption fee and take all the remaining 62 dogs. So I got a total of 75 dogs from that pound. Most of them were adopted and two were re reunited to their owners. And seven dogs are still with me because they are not um, adaptable during that time. Some are sick and aggressive, but um, now they are totally a different sweet dog. Every time I see stray dogs or cats at the road, I just rescued them right away because I don't want them to suffer and be killed in the pound. I have to give up all my money because my savings went to zero when I started uh, rescuing that um, 75 dogs until now. And uh, every time I received my salary, it all went straight to my rescue's food, medicines, and for their other needs. all of them but I am trying hard to lessen the sufferings of animals out there that needs our help that most people ignore. I know exactly how it feels being ignored and abused. Um, at young age of nine, I have to work as a house helper to have something to eat. And my mother was physically hurting me almost every day. So I grew up alone. I even experienced to be homeless, living on the streets from one area to another, which I feel so helpless at the time. I was just like a stray animal walking with no direction, struggling to survive, but I did not give up. I worked different jobs, even house helper, but those difficulties did not stop me to pursue my dreams in life. After more than 10 years of hard work, I did a lot of self-study and prepared myself to take an exam. And in God's glory, I was able to accelerate from first year high school to first year college. I took hospitality management and um, during my college, and after that, I took some master up. You know, I truly believe that if you really want to do something good for yourself and for everybody or for animals, you must be brave to face the challenges in life and uh, never give up during the journey. 
Every time I'm being interviewed with TV or radio station, they always ask me, why are you doing this? Or why are you helping these animals? You know, my answer will always be the same. Homeless people can strive to survive. You know, like they can find a job, help elevate or improve their lives like me, while animals cannot. I'm doing all this because it breaks my heart into pieces when I see animals being abused or neglected and you know I can only imagine how hard it is if you are hungry and cold but cannot speak and you know the happiness I can have to see how I help to transform one animal from being aggressive or timid because of the um, neglect and abuse they experienced before into a one happy dog or one happy cat with full of confidence is so priceless. I really hope that uh, more people will help the animals in it because we, human, are not the only creature that needs to survive. This voice, these animals too. To all the compassionate animal lovers in the world, please, please help me in taking care of my rescues until they are ready for adoption. Um, I beg you to please allow me to continue my journey in saving more lives to give them the chance they all hope for. Whatever you can donate or any amount you can help, please know that your kind help will be used to aid the needs of these voiceless. Your kind donation today will give an animals a beautiful tomorrow.